When you realize that you lack opinions, it means you've taken the first step towards change. Now, let's delve into how to further explore this topic together. Firstly, to become opinionated, it's crucial to cultivate self-confidence and independent thinking. This takes time and effort, but the results are worth it. When you start expressing your views, don't fear opposition or criticism from others. Everyone has different perspectives and your viewpoint is equally valuable. By expressing your thoughts, you'll gradually discover more about your inner voice and beliefs. Secondly, reading extensively and gaining diverse experiences are vital ways to nurture opinions. Books are wellsprings of wisdom. Through reading, you can encounter various thoughts and viewpoints, thus broadening your horizons. Similarly, experiencing different scenarios and challenges in life can make you more mature and confident. Furthermore, Engaging with other opinionated individuals is beneficial. Share your ideas with them and listen to their advice and opinions. Such interactions can help you grow and progress more quickly. Lastly, don't forget to persevere. Cultivating opinions is an ongoing process that requires continual effort and practice. Even in the face of difficulties and challenges, maintain your beliefs and trust in your own worth and abilities. Through these efforts, you'll gradually become more confident and opinionated, better equipped to handle various situations in life and work. William, a shy and insecure college student, always sits quietly in the corner of the classroom as if he has become the forgotten corner of the classroom. His gentle eyes often gaze out the window, as if searching for something, yet also seemingly avoiding something. In a group project, William always passively follows the footsteps of others, afraid to voice any dissent. Whenever there's a discussion within the group, he listens silently, lips moving as if about to speak, yet ultimately swallowing back his words. He watches his other classmates chat away, exchanging their ideas and suggestions, feeling a sense of powerlessness and defeat creeping into his heart. During a group meeting, William sits quietly at the table, listening to classmates debate the direction and strategy of the project. He feels like a lone boat adrift in a raging sea, unable to find a direction forward. He tries to speak up with his own thoughts, but his throat feels as if something is lodged in it, and no matter how hard he tries, he can't manage to utter a complete sentence. The discussions among classmates continue, and William's silence becomes more pronounced. He silently raises his head his eyes wandering aimlessly in the crowd, filled with confusion and helplessness. He realizes he has become a follower in this group, lacking the ability to assert himself and think independently, and this sense of powerlessness deeply torments his inner self. William becomes increasingly frustrated doubting his own worth and whether he can find his place in this fiercely competitive world. He closes his eyes, trying to find some relief in his thoughts, but the confusion in his mind only deepens. In this unfamiliar college campus, he feels lonely and helpless, like a lost bird unsure of where to fly. One day, William happened upon a striking figure in the campus library. A young man in a vibrant shirt stood before the bookshelves, holding a hefty tome, his brow furrowed in deep concentration as he studied the contents. Drawn in by his confidence and charisma, William approached quietly, attempting to discreetly observe his every move. The young man's gaze was firm, his posture elegant, resembling a shining star on campus. William couldn't help 
but admire him silently, feeling a surge of respect within. Suddenly, William heard a light chuckle from him and turned to find the young man smiling at him. He was momentarily taken aback, then shyly returned the smile, unsure of what to say. Hey, you're William, right? I've seen you in class. The young man friendly broke the silence, his voice clear and confident. Yes, that's me. And you are. William replied with a hint of hesitation. I'm Eric. Nice to meet you, Eric said with a smile, extending his hand, radiating confidence and warmth. William shook his hand, feeling a sense of warmth and strength. He couldn't help but recall his own silence and shyness in class, feeling a tinge of regret. You always speak up in class without hesitation. I really admire that, William said honestly, his voice tinged with shyness and unease. Eric nodded with a smile, his eyes shimmering with encouragement and understanding. Everyone has their own unique charm and value. William, you surely have your own shining points. Eric's voice hinted at deep thought and confidence. William felt the warmth and encouragement in Eric's words, gradually calming his unease. He nodded gently, smiling. Thank you, Eric. Perhaps I need more confidence to showcase myself. That's right, William. Believe in yourself and bravely pursue your dreams and goals. Eric's eyes sparkled with encouragement and anticipation. He instilled in William an unprecedented sense of strength and motivation. Perhaps he could truly do it, daring to show his true self and bravely face life's challenges. After his conversation with Eric at the library, William felt an unprecedented determination swelling within him. As he returned to the classroom, he sensed a newfound energy igniting the courage deep within him. He resolved to catch up and change his silence and shyness. In the next group project, William decisively broke his past silence and actively engaged in discussions. He straightened his posture in class, sharing his thoughts and opinions without hesitation. His classmates watched in astonishment as William underwent this transformation, while his heart was filled with joy. William, your contribution today was truly remarkable, exclaimed a classmate, warmly patting William's shoulder to express admiration and encouragement. William smiled, feeling the recognition from his classmates, which filled him with an inexplicable sense of confidence. He realized that expressing himself wasn't daunting. Instead, it was a way to become more whole and independent. With time, William gradually adapted to this new state. He no longer passively relied on others' decisions but learned to bravely voice his opinions and suggestions. He began to take on a leadership role within the group guiding the team towards common goals with his own convictions. In class, William's contributions became increasingly profound as he learned to consider problems from multiple perspectives and defend his viewpoints. Classmates started seeking his advice, and he became a trusted and respected peer. During a classroom debate, William confidently stood up and passionately defended his position. His voice was firm and powerful, reminiscent of a steadfast leader. The entire class admired him, and his heart swelled with pride at his own growth. William's transformation wasn't limited to academic achievements. It permeated his entire life. He no longer avoided social interactions, but actively participated in various activities. In the student council elections, he confidently decided to run and eventually became a member, 
advocating for better rights for students. After a chance encounter, Eric was pleasantly surprised to find that William was no longer the silent, introverted student he once knew. William, your change is truly remarkable. Your confidence and assertiveness now are simply unbelievable, he exclaimed. William replied with a smile, Yes, Eric. Thank you for inspiring me initially and making me realize I could change too. Excitedly, Eric patted William's shoulder. This is just the beginning of your growth. William, keep striving and you'll achieve even greater things. William's transformation not only made him stand out in school, but also filled him with confidence and courage to face future challenges. He learned to approach life's every aspect with conviction and confidence, stepping towards a bright future of his own. William's change didn't go unnoticed. His teachers and classmates observed his positive transformation as he confidently participated in discussions and offered suggestions in class. William, your contribution today was truly remarkable, praised the teacher in class, her gaze revealing admiration for him. With joy and pride filling his heart, William smiled feeling the appreciation from his teacher and classmates. He realized that his efforts and changes were recognized and affirmed by others, bringing him immense satisfaction. Within the school campus, William became increasingly active. He enthusiastically participated in various activities, becoming a prominent figure on campus. His confidence and assertiveness attracted more and more attention, making him a role model and inspiration for his peers. William's change not only brought personal growth and progress, but also earned him more respect and recognition. His story became a tale of inspiration on campus, motivating others to courageously pursue their dreams and goals.